a sandy terrain dotted with hundreds of coconut trees and haphazardly laid out houses catches the attention of a visitor to the Lakshadweep. There are hardly any boundaries dividing individual plots from each other. Each coconut tree is numbered or marked and the islanders identify their plots with the help of these numbers or marks. These coconut trees are one of the main sources of income for the islanders. For centuries, the chief profession of the islanders has been fishing and choir making. Lakshadweep came under the British rule by the end of the 18th century, but the British maintained minimal control over the islands. Their interest was in procuring choir, which was in great demand in the mainland. Lakshadweep is still a major player in choir production. Every part of a coconut tree is useful, hence the name Kalpavriksham, the divine tree that provides everything we wish. The coconut leaves are used for thatching huts. The trunk is used in the making of the building materials. It is also used as firewood. The tender coconut is a sweet natural drink everyone relishes. The ripened coconut is dried to make copra, which is also used for cooking. The coconut shell is used for making handicrafts and also used as a fuel. And from the husk, coir is made. Here we are producing coir fiber. In Lakshadweep, the main agricultural produce is coconut. The only industry in Lakshadweep is coconut based. We are producing fiber from dry coconut husk. These are dried husk. We take it directly to the soaking tank and soak it for 20 to 25 days. This is soaking tank. After it is sufficiently soaked, it is fed through a machine called burster and it comes out in a paste form. This is fed to a defibering machine. There, the fiber and waste material is separated. This fiber is sent to the choir production center for making choir. 
മാട്രസ് ഉപയോഗിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി എൻ്റെ റോ മെറ്റീരിയൽ ആണ് ഇവിടെ മെയിനായിട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് here a special variety of thick coir is made which is used in the production of mattresses The raw fiber is taken to another small factory where the fiber is cleaned with the help of a machine. The clean fiber is fed into another machine which makes the coil ropes. Clean the fiber is put here and it comes to this drum. Clean fiber is put here and it comes to this drum. After that it reaches here. Then it enters the second drum. There the fiber is sprayed onto the thread here. The fiber gets twisted with the thread. It is twisted into a single rope. There are two of them. So in this automatic spinning machine two layers of rope are made at a time. These two layers are made at a time. ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്ലിറ്റി <laughs> These coir rolls are sent to the mainland where value added products like carpets and mats are made. Yet another derivative of coconut is oil. The dried coconut known as copra is fed to a small machine which crushes it to small pieces. The small pieces are used for oil extraction. The 
the extracted oil is sold in the local market. Since consumption of oil in the local market is comparatively low, a major portion of copra is sold to oil mills in the mainland, where large-scale extraction and purification is done. The residue is used as cattle feed. When we see a beautiful handicraft like this, we may not realize what material this is made of. All these handicrafts are made of coconut shells. Employment opportunities in Lakshadweep are relatively fewer than in the mainland. The Production Come Training Center for Handicrafts in Lakshadweep enables the islanders to produce handicrafts from coconut shells and fiber, etc. It also helps them to earn their livelihood. This training is to provide employment opportunities to the poor. We keep them trained so that they start their own production. In every island, this type of training is given. Even now, these trained people are producing handicrafts. When the foreigners visit here, they benefit by selling these products to them. When I heard about the training scheme, I applied and joined the training in 1997. After completing one year's training, I went back to my island and started my own business. Then I got this job. Many people get benefited by this scheme. It helps one to find self-employment. Now we are giving one month's training in different islands. They are able to make and sell their products. Many people are doing it and are successful. We are not in a position to meet the demands because of shortage of people. If we have more people, we can benefit from it. The coconut tree does not provide everything we wish, but it gives everything it has till it is burned to flames and ashes.